Okay, we'll start here. This is Gain and Awareness 1, the piano version. And we use that to open our video edit here. And then this is uh, Gain and Awareness version 2. And we use that to animate this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for the New Era, Episode 9, Silent Cycles Not Knowing. This is basically the third chapter of this. In this episode, we focused on editing a long, hour-long video, and we had paused it a while back. We noticed that we got excited again working with that video by being able to now add some intro and extra music that we had just written. We were also composing the titles and the color sequences and things. And then also a fun thing we did is we added an epigraph and an epilogue. So an epigraph is something you say at the beginning to kind of set the tone. So how do you document a lecture on state-of-the-art philosophy? And then at the end, because this was a lecture to a college students, we added uh, not only our extra music, But another quote for the epilogue. And so the idea is that in the lecture, there were questions being asked and answers being given and or speculated on. So through questions, we get at the key concepts. So that was pretty cool. Then, as we said, we worked some more on the music. And then we took uh, Gain and Awareness too. We took the first one and we restructured it and we added instrumentation and stuff and you've heard us talk about that before uh, but this time we went ahead and put it into an animation and this animation was uh, where things we wanted the theme was gain and awareness and we wanted to see the images expand so this is what we came up with So we made a uh, video of that and we shared that with our open mic group. So it's on our YouTube channel if you'd like to look at it. Um, then we kind of went bananas and we wanted to do what we called a triple image experiment. So we took three different videos that we had done in the past. This one was called um, Geography 3, but this image of these falling needles. To, to us kept evoking the idea of loss of illusion and then uh, this is the video that we just showed you how things uh, start smaller and keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and all the way to the end so that's gain in awareness and then finally illusion 2 which we had done a little bit earlier the the full quote is um, uh, Loss of illusion, gain in awareness, encountering darkness remains sincere. So this image is remaining sincere. Where the central image sta sta stands fast, even though it's being vibrated and buffeted by these winds of darkness. So we did a quick video version of that. And it looks like this. And sounds like this. It skips ahead.
skips ahead, skips back, and finally ends. So we had fun doing that. We rendered a copy of that. Finally, what we did is we started a new music project. Well, we continued working with our new custom scale, the the five um, note scale that we already shared one of these things on. So remember that this, this scale is um, And we had done a, a, a version of that using key step or key step. Um, where is our perspective two? Oh, no, that's not what we want. We want perspective one. This one, this one was generated using the key step MIDI controller. Like that. And then, um, and then it generated a lot of patterns, which was cool and all, but we wanted to start coming up with something further. So what we're going to do is play Perspective 2, which has some cool sounds in it. And, uh, oh God, we have to tell you, we did another thing. We took Reaper and we exported the sweep synth version of this and overlaid it on top of the piano version so that sounds like this and we had to repeat it over and over again because um, th because that was speeded up to 480 beats per minute and this was dropped to 30 And when it overlaid, it, we kind of like the effect, but we got to work with it some more. Because it's awfully repetitive. So what we'll do is just play the sweep version. And here we go. So that concludes today's uh, chapter and episode. What we like about what we did here was we did something new. Our drone is using dyads, which is two two note chords. And we were noticing that we, we had generated these dyads playing on the real life piano and, uh, and in some of them. And in entering them here, like if you look across the bottom, you'll see there's a sequence. Um, there are 10 of them.
Now we repeated two down here to make the structure fit. So we said, well, that's interesting because there's 10 chords in the scale and 10 dyads, but we thought that was probably not the normal case. So I thought we kept that somewhere. Did we keep that somewhere? We didn't keep that. Anyway, we did a double check and sure enough for a, uh, a five note scale, there are exactly 10 trichords and 10 dyads, but the minute you go past a five note scale, they're no longer the same. So that was a pleasing uh, side math music discussion. Our ideas for next time are to, well, just keep, post and share the, the McLuhan video edit, uh, further explore the music and vids. Uh, I guess we should say uh, E, G, C, S, 11, um, which of, of course is the C, two, three, three, two, four, four, five. It has four note minor, four note major, and five note full. And to be determined, shout outs to Majok Tabla, who popped in Silent Lurker and Miss Cleo. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.